It is a good thing to offer food and help with jobs and housing, but it is a better thing to offer inclusive community, friendship, welcome. It is a better thing to offer a place to worship, a place to create, a place to belong. I had changed my beat to the religion beat at the Greenville News, and so I decided to go to school, back to grad school, to learn just a little bit more about what I was writing about. Quite by accident, I ended up in seminary down at Erskine in Due West. And once I got there, it was just, oh my gosh, this is what I've always been looking for. So I ended up getting a Master of Divinity degree and just felt being called into ministry. People want to hear how we created our church model, how we combine limited relief and social work, community and worship, art and friendship. And people began showing up here to volunteer. And that, you know, I'd come in in the morning and they'd be helping our facilities manager sweep and mop and pack groceries and carry out the trash and paint walls and help him repair things. And at first I thought, what are they doing? Why aren't they out trying to find paying jobs? And then a woman gave me a book called Take This Bread. And it was about a woman very similar to me who had started a food pantry ministry out in San Francisco. And as she was doing that, people began coming early to help give out the food. And she didn't know what that was about. And I was reading it and I thought, they want to be part of your community. They want a place to belong. Oh, wait a minute. That's what those people are doing here, volunteering at Triune. And once we realized that, we sort of turned on a dime and said, okay, th this is important, this, this inclusion. Having a donor-recipient relationship is never gonna be healthy. It's got to be a level playing ground. And that's what allowing people to come in and volunteer did for us. And so now, when you come to church here, you'll find people giving out the church bulletin, taking up the offering, leading the responsive reading, helping us serve communion. In everything we do, we are trying to tell people, you're part of this church. Um, you can volunteer here just like anybody else, and you are a beloved child of God. About five years ago, I uh, was in the Salvation Army and started coming down here because I'm a Christian and uh, I like going to church. And I found out they had an art room upstairs and I just started painting. <laughs> and the very first painting I paint, Pastor Deb put it up there in front of everybody, so I got hooked. <laughs> The more I look at it, it's me. It's me. I've been through a lot. Uh, a lot of bad choices. A lot of bad decisions. This is his helmet. This is his wings. That's the earth. That's the fires of hell. And that's me walking through it. So, yeah, I'm in love with this stick. I hope the Lord will let me keep it. A lot of things that I, I love, he takes them away from me. <laughs> so I don't love it too much. So. It's not fun being on the streets. It's very hard, it's very difficult. I'm not really on the street that much anymore as much as I'm converting over to a halfway house very soon. About age 24, I was injecting heroin and had battled with that addiction for almost 24 years. 
Right now I'm currently clean. I'm in treatment at a, a local methadone treatment center in Greenville. A lot of people here on the street have alcohol and substance abuse issues and you know they're trying to get their lives straightened out some of them and it's very difficult especially during the winter time. The last time I was here we had sleeping bags and tarps hanging from the trees covering us in this area right behind this bush and right here. So you got some mattresses here. A lot of people stay sometimes down up under these rocks under them and stuff. Some clothing items still here. I remember being here in November and it was nighttime and it was raining. I was trying to get a vein in my leg and it was just, I kept thinking to myself, I just can't keep going like this. Places like Triune, they help people so much getting back on their feet. But there's not anything I found in Greenville that could help somebody more. Pastor Deb, like I said, has been instrumental along with Don Austin and the NA groups that's in there and in my recovery and helping me stay clean and want to get clean and stay clean. We just want to be a place of welcome. Um, as I've always said, I, I've wanted the people who sleep under bridges to sit and worship next to the engineers who designed the bridges. Um, I think that's how we're going to solve homelessness is when everybody gets to know everybody else and sees this as a problem and as an issue because it's affecting my friend. It's affecting the person at the end of this pew. I want to live. I want to live as much as I can. I remember what it was like before I ever had a substance abuse issue that was severe and I was so-called just a functioning addict. I had a job, I had a house. I was married for five years. You know, I want those things back. I want to have a life again. Oh God, how precious is your steadfast love. All people may take refuge in the shadow of your wings. Psalm 36. Welcome this morning to Triune Mercy Center. We are so glad each and every one of you is with us in this place on this Lord's Day.